All right, Ninja Nerds, in this video, we're gonna talk about the muscles of the leg. All right, guys, so a little bit about the leg. First off, we have an anatomical position. So I wanted to look at it like this, and we're gonna take it from top all the way to bottom, okay? So let's go ahead and focus right up here. So first off, we have this muscle right here. This muscle right here is called the psoas major. Okay, the psoas major, and basically what it helps to do is do flexion at the hip, all right? So it's a prime mover for flexion at the hip. The other muscle right next to it here, sitting in the iliac fossa, is called the iliacus. This is called the iliacus right there. And the iliacus muscle is also going to do flexion at the hip. So again, we got the psoas major, and the psoas major does flexion at the hip. And then we have the iliacus muscle, who also does flexion at the hip. So these two are synergist to each other for that action. Now let's go ahead and take a look over here at this muscle right here. It's coming all the way from this portion all the way down here. This is called the sartorius muscle. It's the longest muscle in the body. It used to be called the Taylor muscle. And the sartorius muscle has three functions. One is it flexes the whole leg at the hip. It also does flexion at the knee. And on top of that, it also helps to do lateral rotation or external rotation. So again, sartorius muscle does flexion at the hip, flexion at the knee, and lateral rotation. All right, now let's go ahead and hit one other muscle over here. This one is called the tensor fascia lata. So the tensor fascia lata is actually going to be a muscle that has uh, generally three functions. One is it helps to do flexion um, at the hip. It also does medial rotation, and it also helps to be able to tense the iliotibial tract here, okay? or your IT band right there, okay? So that's the three functions. Again, flexes the whole leg at the hip, and it does medial rotation or internal rotation, and it tenses this iliotibial tract or the IT band. All right, now let's take a look here at the quadriceps femoris muscles. All right, so it's a group of four muscles, all right? One muscle right here, this is called the rectus femoris. And the rectus femoris muscle actually does flexion of the whole leg at the hip joint. And it also can do extension at the knee. So again, the rectus femoris does flexion at the hip and it does extension at the knee. These are two muscles on the side of him though, right? So this is the medial side of the leg. So this is called the vastus medialis. And the vastus medialis helps to just do extension, okay, at the, at the knee. So extension at the knee. All right, so this is when you kind of see some of those bodybuilders, they have those teardrop legs, all right? So this is some of those big muscles that are popping out there, okay? This one right here, and this one over here on the lateral side, which is called the vastus lateralis, okay? And this one also does extension at the knee. There's a muscle underneath the rectus femoris called the vastus intermedius. It's deep to it, you can't see it, but it also does extension at the knee, okay? So that's the quadriceps femoris group, it's four muscles. Again, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and the vastus intermedius are that group. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take a look at the gluteal muscles. So if you take a look here, we can see the big, big butt muscle, the gluteus maximus, okay? So the gluteus maximus here is a pretty big muscle and what it helps to be able to do is it helps to do extension at the hip joint. So it does extension at the hip joint and it also does lateral rotation at the hip joint. So it does extension at the hip joint and it does lateral rotation at the hip joint or external rotation. Okay, so that's the gluteus maximus there. You, I'm gonna show you some other ones underneath him in a, in a second here, but you can see this muscle up here and I'm, you're gonna be able to see him even better when I take the gluteus maximus off. This is the gluteus medius and the gluteus medius does abduction, abduction of the hip, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this off, guys, so we can see it. Okay, again, so we remove that. You can still see a better view of the gluteus medius right here. Underneath the gluteus medius is the gluteus minimus. The gluteus minimus is deep to the gluteus medius and it also does abduction at the uh, hip joint there. Then you can see a whole bunch of these lateral rotators underneath. So this one right here is called the piriformis. He does lateral rotation. The one right under it here is called the superior glomellus. He does lateral rotation, obturator internus, the inferior glomellus, and the uh, quadratus femoris. 
all of these guys right here are lateral rotators of the hip, okay? So that we're gonna be able to get a look at all those guys. So again, gluteus medius, underneath him is the gluteus minimus. They both do abduction. Then you have the piriformis, superior glomellus. You have the obturator internus, inferior glomellus, quadratus, femoris. And all of these guys are lateral rotators, so they are all synergists to each other, all right, for, those at, for that action, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look here at the hamstring muscles. All right guys, so now we're looking at the hamstring muscles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work those muscles from lateral all the way to medial, all right, in order. So there's a tiny little smaller head of the biceps femoris right here. So there's a piece of the biceps femoris, it's kind of the smaller head right there. And then we got a big, big head of the biceps femoris right there. The biceps femoris muscle, all of these muscles here are pretty much gonna perform the same function. Uh, as a group, they're going to be doing uh, extension at the uh, hip joint, and they're also going to be doing flexion at the knee. So you think about it, the gluteus maximus does extension at the hip, so it does pretty much all of these hamstring muscles, so they're going to be synergist to each other for that action. And if you remember, the sartorius muscle flexes the knee, so the hamstring muscles would be synergist to the sartorius for that action. But all of these muscles would be antagonist to the quadriceps femoris, because all of those guys do extension at the knee. So these guys would be antagonist to those muscles for that action. All right, so that's our biceps femoris, two heads of it. Now I'm gonna turn it a little bit here. So right here in the middle, if you look coming right down here, down the middle, right next to the biceps femoris, right here, coming right down there, that's our semitendinosus, okay? So we got our semitendinosus coming right down the middle here. If we turn it a little bit over here, we're gonna see this muscle right here coming down beside the semitendinosus. This is called the semimembranosus. And then if I keep turning it back over here, there's another piece of the semimembranosus right there. So again, biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and then back over here is another piece of the semimembranosus. Again, one more time, all of these muscles, they perform the same action uh, in general. They're gonna do extension at the hip joint and flexion at the knee. All right guys, so, we're here at the hamstring muscles, we're gonna just keep working medially so we can hit the adductor muscles. So if you look here, we got this big, big muscle right there, it's called the adductor magnus. Okay, the adductor magnus, its name says what it does, it adducts, it adducts at the hip. Okay, so it adducts at the hip. So remember, abduction is you're taking away from the midline, and adduction is you're bringing it towards the midline, okay? So that's the adductor magnus right there. Underneath the adductor magnus is the adductor brevis. You can't see him, but he's deep to it, and he also does adduction at the hip, right? So then if I do a little bit more here, you can see the gracilis. So that's the gracilis muscle. And the gracilis muscle is going to be able to do adduction at the hip. It also can do uh, flexion at the knee. And on top of that, he can also do uh, medial rotation. Okay, so you got medial rotation for this guy, flexion at the knee, and adduction at the hip. So if you think about it, you'd be a synergist to the sartorius for flexion at the knee, he'd be a synergist to the tensor fascia lata for medial rotation, and he'd be a synergist to the adductor magnus and the adductor brevis for adduction at the hip, okay? So again, that's the gracilis. And again, one more time, adduction at the hip, medial rotation, flexion at the knee, adductor brevis and adductor magnus, adduction at the hip. Turn it again a little bit more here, and we're gonna see this muscle right here. This is called the adductor longus and the adductor longus, he does adduction at the hip also. All right, and then if I turn it a little bit more, I wanted to cover one more muscle, a tiny little one. This is called the pectineus right there, and the pectineus can also do uh, flexion at the hip. All right, guys, so that gives us pretty much the muscles of the top half. We're gonna work at the bottom half now. All right, guys, so before I transition to the lower leg muscles, I wanna talk to you guys about what's called the sergeant muscles, S-G-T. S stands for what's called the sartorius muscle, which is this muscle coming right here, right? So this is the sartorius right there. G stands for gracilis, and again, this is the gracilis, the one coming down right here. And then there's another muscle called the semitendinosus, which is that one that we said over here. All of these muscles, semitendinosus, gracilis, and the sartorius, all insert onto this one point down here called the pes anserinus. Okay, so if you can kind of follow right here, I'll point at it right here. You see this one? That's the, it's gonna be the point of where the actual semitendinosus attaches. This tendon right here is actually gonna be the point for the, the gracilis muscle where it attaches to the pes anserinus, and then this is gonna be the tendon of the sartorius, which is attaches down here 
to the pes anserinus. And again, those are called the sargent muscles. I just wanted to mention that because it was a pretty cool thing. All right, guys, so we're here at the lower leg, and we're going to start with the anterior aspect of that. We're going to work our way all the way around so we can kind of hit all these muscles of the lower leg. So let's start. If we look here, you can see this muscle right here. This is called the anterior tibialis, or the tibialis anterior. Okay, you can use them interchangeably. Tibialis anterior is perfectly fine. So tibialis anterior, he does dorsiflexion at the ankle. So he helps to point the toes up, right? So dorsiflexion. And he also does inversion of the ankle. Okay, so he also does inversion of the ankle. The other guy that I wanted to show you right here is called the extensor digitorum longus. So I'm going to turn it over so you can get a better view. So this guy right here is called the extensor digitorum longus. He has three functions. Extends the digits and everything that the tibialis anterior does. Dorsiflexion, so he point, points the toes up to the ceiling, and inversion of the ankle points the sole of the foot inwards, right? So that's inversion of the ankle, dorsiflexion, and extension of the digits. I'm going to move it over here a little bit more so we can see the peroneal muscles here. So we have another point of the peroneal muscles right here. This is called the peroneus brevis, or you can also call them the fibularis brevis. It doesn't matter, but fibularis brevis or peroneus brevis, and then the peroneus longus or the fibularis longus. And they, these guys do what's called eversion of the ankle. So if you think about it, these guys do eversion of the ankle. They're antagonists to the extensor digitorum longus and the tibialis anterior who do inversion at the ankle. All right, let's keep going more and more. Let's go over here to the posterior muscles of the leg. If we see here at the posterior muscles of the leg, we got these two big calf muscles, the two heads of it. This is called the gastrocnemius, this whole muscle right here. But there's two heads, the lateral head and the medial head. And these guys do plantar flexion. All right, guys, so you have this muscle here at the top. It comes right off this top of the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. And this is called uh, the plantaris. Okay, and the plantaris helps to do flexion at the knee to unlock the joint. And it also does plantar flexion. Now, if we come over here, I'm going to show you this guy here. It's underneath this guy. It's right here. This is called the soleus, and the soleus also does plantar flexion. And if you look here, this connective tissue right here is just the calcaneal tendon or the Achilles tendon, okay? Now what we're going to do is there's just a little bit more that I want to talk about. I'm going to take this, these actual superficial muscles off so that we can see the deeper muscles now. So you look here, we got this guy right there. This is called the popliteus. So the popliteus helps to do flexion. Um, at the knee to be able to unlock that joint again just like the plantar so he does flexion at the knee and the plantaris does flexion at the knee to unlock the joint so there's synergies to each other for that action you have this big big chunky muscle right here this big big chunky muscle right here is called the flexor hallucis longus so he flexes the the hallux or the big toe then you got this muscle right here and this is called the tibialis posterior so the tibialis posterior helps to be able to do uh, plantar flexion, inversion of the ankle. Um, so he helps to, again, do plantar flexion and inversion at the ankle. And then if you look over here, we got another muscle. I'm going to turn it a little bit. This is called the flexor digitorum longus. And the flexor digitorum longus flexes the digits. He does inversion of the ankle, and he also does plantar flexion. All right, guys, that pretty much covers all the muscles of the entire leg.